how blockchain works so what do you think how a blockchain transaction works so we'll see over here there is a user a and there is a user b the user a wants to send 10 coins to user b and a transaction fee is set by the sender okay so this 10 coins should go to b so now what happens a request is broadcasted to the network to pre-confirm the transaction so now what happens this transaction is first broadcasted to the network to pre-confirm the transaction that means it should be verified first so everybody checks that if user a has 10 coins or not if yes then only this will get verified once the data is confirmed the transaction is placed in a memory pool memory pool is basically a memory stack in which there are all these transactions coming in which are validated okay for further computation process now the main thing mining the mining process is when miners use the power and capacity of their uh, nodes to make a block this will be taught next and when this mining process is done a block is created and this block goes into the blockchain and it is broadcasted to every node on the blockchain and then the user a gets this coin to b okay mining process okay so first we'll see what is double spending double spending means this is a buyer okay he has bought something from seller a and seller b so he has to pay them money now what he does he sends uh, he has a total of 50 coins in his wallet now what he does he sends seller a 50 and seller b 50 at the same time so he sends 50 coins to seller a and 50 coins to seller b at the same time this is known as double spending and this is a huge problem in the previous bank accounts and all it used to be a huge problem so now this can be solved by this mining and all processes so what is mining mining is basically adding blocks to the blockchain on successful addition of a block the miner or who has mined this block will get incentive so a miner what does a miner do a miner has to solve difficult mathematical problems using his computational power this can be any type of mathematical problem which will be told next they take transactions from the mining pool the mining pool is where all the transactions are put and validate it by checking for double spending they first validate it okay uh, is double spending has been done or not how can they check they can check it by uh, taking one transaction at a time so that no double spending can be seen if there is a double spending he takes the first transaction and next transaction will be the same money that he has already sent so his so the buyer's account will show zero but it will show the transaction is from he has sent 50 dollars though he had only zero dollar so this transaction the other transaction will get failed okay so now they then add the transactions to a block so all the valid transactions which hasn't done double spending are put into the block and how they are put they are put by the use of merkle tree and the in the block there will be the merkle root hash in the block header and all the list of transactions will be added to the block body difficulty what is difficulty difficulty is hashing rate of blockchain divided by hashing rate for the target block coming through the miners okay so difficulty is like there is a preconception that uh, in bitcoin basically every block should be added in 10 minutes so if the miners 
are very easily adding the blocks before 10 minutes so then they will increase the difficulty and if the miner takes more than 10 minutes for this process then the difficulty will be decreased by the blockchain protocol itself so how does this work so uh, there will be the hash of the blocks so hash of each block starts with leading zeros. You can see there are some leading zeros in the hash out here. So this is the total hash. This is the leading zeros. So leading zeros is the difficulty. So for this we introduce a new concept that is nonce. Nonce is number only used once. This is a very simple random number which when combined with the hash of the block will give the starting strings with zeros equal to the difficulty. So the difficulty has told that these many zeros should be there and this nonce is just a simple number when hashed with the hash of the block together combined it will give the new hash which will have preceding string of zeros equal to the number of difficulty. Now next consensus. A consensus mechanism is a fault tolerant mechanism that is used in a computer and blockchain systems to achieve the necessary agreement on a single data value or a single state of the network among distributed processes or multi-agent system such as cryptocurrency. So what is consensus? Consensus you can think of as voting where the majority wins. So in the blockchain network we can see if more than 51 percent of the nodes agree to a particular block then only it will get accepted otherwise not so if there are faulty nodes who try to put in some blocks random blocks and agree to them they cannot do it because they need at least 50 percent of people to say yes for the confirmation of their block. POW, the POW consensus algorithm, the basically the proof of work. Make sure that miners are only able to validate a new block of transactions. So in this uh, consensus what happens? The consensus is based on proof of work. It shows that a miner has done a lot of work and computational power to solve a particular hash to get the difficulty and uh, the nonce with it. So it shows that their nodes have worked a lot to get this hash of the block. So and they and the people make the agreement and it is agreed upon the work he has done. Longest chain rule. The longest chain rule is what individual nodes accept as a valid version of the blockchain. The rule that nodes adopt the longest chain of blocks allows every node of the network to agree on that the blockchain looks like and therefore agree on the same transaction history. So there is an example. See first block one is created out here. Next, this block 1 is broadcasted to everybody. Now, there are people who will start creating the block 2 start creating the block 2 based on the previous hash of block 1. Next, there can also be people who starts creating another block. There can be a possibility that two miners have created at almost the same time two blocks, the block 2 and the block 4. So now what happens? Now the next set of miners will see block 2 and they will start working on this block to mine this block. Some will see block 4 and they will start working on this block and some will see the block 4 again and start working on this block. So there is a possibility that there are many blocks created in the same chain. Okay. So now what happens? Now this shows that uh, now the miners will see that there is another block creation and there is another block creation. 
now it is based on which set of miners will go for which block so if more than 70% of the miners go for this block and only 10% uh, go for this block and rest 20 will go for this block so what happens this block will have more chances of getting mined as the next block so this next block is mined by almost 70% of the people so there is a high chance of the miner finding out the block and then uh, this is only by 10% so there is less chances of that block being mined and it is done by 20% so okay there might be a chance of having this block done next what happens many more miners see this block and this block uh, this chain will continue growing on so this longest chain rule states that the blockchain will adopt the longest chain or the chain which is more worked upon this block 9 will be left alone and will uh, come out of the main chain so there is uh, ultimately there is a chance that when more and more people are contributing on the same chain it will outwin the other chains